Alright folks, we do have shortened classes today, so get writing please. Let's get this bow ringer in. What is that? Is that from yesterday? Just leave these face down until I tell you again. All right, folks, so let's look at number one to start off with. So similar to yesterday, yesterday we had our friend the snail. Today we'll talk about the motorcyclist. Okay. Um, I'll give you a minute to discuss it. Before you even discuss it, remind yourselves of what the equation is. All right, how do we find average speed? Before we do that, let's just remind ourselves out loud, what are the two measurements? What are the two measurements? What's one, Cherish? Distance. Distance, right? Distance. <laughs> Distance, Olivia. Time, so distance and time. So remind yourselves of what the equation is precisely, and then do the calculation, all right? You should not need a calculator for this one. I think you can do this one pretty relatively straightforward. So take a minute, and make sure you get the right units at the end. We'll go from there, go. Where'd you get 350 from? Plus? What's the, what's the equation? Distance. So? Good. And what's that going to be? It's four minutes per second. Yep. All right. So, um, Logan, what's the actual? So we have distance, we have time. What do we do with those? Good, because that's the what what. And what do we do with those? Divide. divide. Good. Mary Jane, what do we get for an answer then? Um, so we'll go to three up here in our agenda. Um, so 96 in the book, what groups all got to build their car, or at least started to build their car? Let me read. Thanks very much. All right, so in class today, we are going to quickly share current events because I don't get you for very long. Uh, we will review with a bell ringer. We will take a 10 count stretch, and then we're gonna continue to compare and contrast government systems of Canada and the United States, all right? And then we, of course, will watch and discuss CNN 10 today. And I, I think it's really important, ladies and gentlemen, that we get a chance to see all of CNN 10. So I am gonna set my alarm. So when that goes off, we're gonna kind of transition and get into um, CNN mode. <laughs> right into the bell ringer and you're going to have to dust the cobwebs off your brain. Go ahead and show me how you can dust some cobwebs off real quick. You might want to stretch your neck just a little bit. All right. So we're going to do a review bell ringer. It's been a little while, but I still want to make sure this information is fresh in your mind. So I want you to take out a quick piece of paper and in two minutes, we are going to review the, yes, provinces and territories and their what everybody? Capitals. All right. So how much time do we have, Natalie? Two minutes. Two minutes. And what are we doing, Erin? Of where? Thank you. Of Canada. So does anyone have any questions about that? No? All right. Who thinks they can just nail it? Oh, I love that positivity. Good for you. Um, guys, you have two minutes, so it doesn't have to just come shooting out of your brain. You can give yourself some thought, and you have a partner. Don't forget about that thing. Are you ready? Begin. Oh, and you're whispering. I love that, too. I know. I just can't remember all this. That's okay. Guys, remember your um, skill of visualizing. Close your eyes and visualize the map of Canada and see if you can remember. was a really fast do you need one more yes okay if you say pretty please maybe pretty please oh, okay i'm a sucker all right go one more minute make it count <laughs> love that oh man guys i can't give you any more time but wow you i i saw some serious wheels turning holy cow how many of you had a really 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 good list maybe if it's not complete you're proud of your work okay i like that all right, so what we're gonna do is we will rapid fire right now. And what that means is if I call you, typically I use the cards. And so guys, let's just, let's take a super quick vote on this. How many of you would prefer me using the cards? And, and let me tell you the other option. The other option is if I just call on you. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and, and vote really quickly. How many of you would like the cards today? The numbers. Number, so I'll call on number four first. Okay, so let me, where's my little paper? All right, uh, please tell me Saskatchewan. Very good, Regina Saskatchewan. All right, next one, are you ready? <coughs> number 20, um, I'm gonna give you the choice. Do you wanna name your own? Okay, who's number 20? Go ahead. Nice job, and way to even pronounce a Caluit correctly. Good job, and you remembered that none of it was a what, everybody? Territory, well done, Emma, good job. All right, number three, do you wanna, you've got the shot at the last one. Would you like it? Do you know which one it is? Chicksaw clap for that. Nice job, buddy, way to come in, I like it. And let's clam this up and let's go ahead with our 10 pound stretch. Come on over. And when you're ready, here it is, people, 10. Nine. All right, so guys, let's come together just real quick and take a nice big deep breath. Close your eyes for a second and I want you to think about you. Nice big breath. Guys, think about all of your gifts. You have so many awesome things that make you who you are. Do not forget those gifts, okay? Next thing is a call to action. One more breath. How will you use your gifts today? Will you use them for good? Will you help one another? Will you help yourself? Okay, that is for you to choose. No one can choose that but you, but please remember the power that gives you, okay? Please. <laughs>5 minutes. You need to get your warm up done, planner filled in, uh switch done if you haven't done that yet. If you have those 3 things done, then you can read or IXL while you're waiting. And um, don't we like add up both sides and then times both sides? Well, you have to cut it into like two pieces. Yeah, like split in half so like 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 9 plus 2. Not all right, that is the timer. I like how Katie quickly shut her iPad off and flipped it over and got ready for class. Later, because this was a challenging warm up. A lot of this stuff we haven't really gone over yet. So, anybody know the secret to dividing fractions? Becca thinks she does. Sure, go for it. See if she can get it. Very good. She's exactly right. Um, there is a little theory. Let's give her three claps for that. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Keep change flip. That'll be your best friend here coming up next week. Everybody say that. Keep, Keep change flip. All right. So. Okay. What'd you get when you took six times four? Hopefully we didn't use our calculator. What's six times four? Okay, then what? We're going to quickly go over these answers. So please exchange with someone that has the same color socks on, not in your group. All right, back to your seats in five, four, three. Now, I want you to listen carefully to directions at the top of side A. So we're just going to worry about side A. Okay, so that's a lot of steps, and we can never get this right. So what are we going to do? Natalie, what's the first thing we're going to do? Before we hand it back to our partner. Uh, Jenna. You put on side A, how many things? Okay, so what are we going to do, Natalie? Put their score. Thank you. Okay. Next. I think we can probably get this done in 30 seconds. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. How much time do you have, Megan? 30 seconds. Go. There's a problem up here on the board. I want you to work that problem out. When you have the answer, raise your hand. I'm going to have some student checkers go around and help check. Oh, follow directions. Okay, so 
so what would that be simplified to? Just what? Just what? 44. What? 44. Yes. So if they have this, just make sure they are reminded it's that. Okay, you may check. Okay, what's that, what would that be simplified to? Oh. Yes, you may check. How many times does 1 go into 44? 44. So your answer is? Yeah, you may check. Folks, to get us started, um, we have a quick little bell ringer up here on the front board to kind of review a couple of the major things that we've been talking about over the last week. So if you take a look, it's two parts. So the first one says to list five of the periodic trends. So that kind of goes back to your uh, quiz. Remember that we had earlier this week? And then also you are to identify five of the element families by their location. So that kind of goes to the worksheet that you completed for today. But we are going to take about two minutes. And at the end of the two minutes, every single person in your group should be able to do those two things. Again, list at least five of the trends that we talked about, and then also list five of the different families. Okay? All right, your time starts right now. Okay, so what is one of your trends? The, like, the reactivity goes up as you go up to the... Yep, got it. Good. I'm getting it out. Yep, worksheet, and then we're reviewing trends, yeah. too. All right, got about 30 seconds. Again, kind of make sure everybody in your area, in your group, can name five and five trends and families. So, Lainey, what was one of them that your group talked about? You got it. So, if you remember, general trend as we go up and in this direction tends to get more reactive. Are there some exceptions to that rule? Yep, Jarvis, what is an exception to that rule? Group 18 has not been reactive. You got it. Okay, I'm going to be collecting from you the worksheets that you did yesterday. So if back row, you send them over to Bryce. Front row, send them on over to Cassie. And then in the meantime, I'll be coming your way with a packet. So to get us started with lab, we're going to start out, you need to read the pre-lab section there, and then also skim through the directions. And then does everybody see at the bottom of the page where it says your pre-lab discussion? There are four questions. Okay, I'm going to give you 10 minutes to complete the reading as well as the questions. Now, when you get to the question point, if you want to talk it over with your table group as you answer those, that's fine. But probably the first three, four minutes should be quiet because you should be doing your reading. Okay? You're getting pretty close at this point to being able to start your questions. Again, when you get to the question point, if you want to start working on them with your group members around you, you may go ahead and do that, your pairs or your trios. And again, we'll take about another six minutes or so to get your questions answered. If you have any questions or problems, raise your hand. This morning, with a look at today's eye opener, your world in 90 seconds. Honestly, I wish I could come up with another word. It is pathetic. Not only is it sad, it is a... Thank you, Cruz and Melania, with a caption, a picture is worth... Uh, as always, you have a, a couple of minutes here. Any reactions or thoughts or ideas or questions regarding the current events of the past 24 hours? Gavin, we start with you. What I'd like you to do is I'm going to give you about two to three minutes... Okay, two to three minutes. So actually, let's do this. At 8.25, you have until 8.25 to do one of two things. The first priority is that I want you to finish up your drawing. Okay, now, with that said, here's where your instructions. So Tanner and Devin, who were gone yesterday, according to the general patterns. Okay, so when we say general patterns, Ryan, would you mind? Thank you. Okay, this chart. That's the first thing, okay? If you already have that done by 825 in the next two or three minutes, then I need you to do this. Absolutely then, number two, look over your notes, especially the information about minor parties, third parties, for the quiz we're going to have over chapter nine at the end of this class, okay? I want to be quiet. 
so that those who are drawing can draw and think. But in particular, of course, for those who are reviewing, if you have the drawing done, you can actually study and focus for the quiz later on in class. And I, too, will be quiet and take care of a few things as well. Thank you. Three, two, one. Uh, time is up. It is 825, gang. Here we go. With that said, if I could have your eyes up, would you please focus on not just what you see here, but, oh yes, oh yes. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the handy dandy random student selector to go to work. Random student selector, Bryce. Excellent. Bryce, I ask you, Bryce, what is the main purpose of any political party anywhere in the world, let alone here in the United States of America? You want to pass. Okay, do you wish to pass? Okay, pass he will. All right, we'll pass. Taryn Lane, I can't ask you this because you weren't here yesterday, so it's not fair, but listen carefully to your classmates who will answer this. And I'm not going to go to my handy and dandy random student selector, but can anybody identify another type of third or minor party? Kirsten wants to get back in. Single issue. Yeah, single issue. Good job. And the I'm going to match you up. Jesse with Ryan and Kirsten. Connor with these two men. Will you, in one minute, share your drawing of a, quote, typical Democrat and typical Republican, and if need be, I need you to explain perhaps what it is you drew and why you drew it. You've got one minute to do this. On the clock, go. Okay. What's that? I, I, I Most definitely willing to share mine. Mine's better. Thank you. Yours looks like ET. You got a problem with ET? All right. Bring you guys back together again here. Um, Kirsten says she was definitely willing to share her. So, uh, Kirsten, since you volunteered, um, yeah, actually come on up here, front and center. Uh, we're going to have Kirsten demonstrate this. Now, <laughs> before we get into a debate, white collar meeting, I'm actually going to turn, if you will, to Brayden, because I heard you when you were describing yours to Kylie um, and uh, Dakota, I heard you said this is a picture of a blue collar or a white collar, I can't remember which one you used, but can you explain in your own words what that those terms mean? <laughs> Check out Schoology. You're going to see some I have post. Oops, I'm sorry. Some I have post here. So far this week, we have identified the purpose of five functions of political parties. We've explained why we have our two party system. Yesterday, and the day before that, we looked at the history of political parties. Right. Today, really kind of taking Connor's question and run with it. Now I want to get in what I think is basically kind of the, the capstone uh, of this week. And that is something that's not in your book, but is a key part of politics in America. And that is describing what a conservative ideology is, understanding a liberal point of view. 